What kind of car is the Antichrist going to drive? I want to know. Is the Crandall Soup Company putting satanic messages in your alphabet soup? I want to know. Are you making the maximum financial return from your investment in God? I want to know. Acid. Kula Kula. Hmm. Yeah. Hello, fellow pipe smokers, and welcome to Willow AK Piper. A vast virus database has been updated. I'm not doing this again. Gosh. The Kuba Kuba is a 54 gauge Robusto. It's uh, infused with spices and herbs, uh, a bit of uh, anise and clove, superbly blended, of course, and uh, got some uh, hints of vanilla. This is an infused cigar. It's unlike anything I've ever had. I was going to have this for my birthday, but I was under the weather at that time. Too much partying and uh, uh, not enough bed rest, I guess. I don't know, caught up with me anyway, so I, I've been partying since like last Tuesday. And I finally stopped like Friday night. I wanted to celebrate my 47th birthday, so I did. Oh yeah, a lot of 420 snickerdoodles. Uh, they didn't even make it to the oven. They just, I just ate them. I just had the bowl of dough up here, and I was just like, ah, 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 ah. didn't know what's up. Well, so what do I think of this cigar? Besides, it costing me almost fourteen dollars here in Alaska. I'd say this is definitely uh, an interesting smoke. Would I buy it again? Um, once in a while. Um, it's uh, it's a departure from mainstream cigar making. And uh, these guys started their. Uh, it's based in Nicaragua, Cuba, Cuba. The acid, Cuba, the acid line is in Nicaragua. And uh, these guys started their uh, cigar factory um, from scratch. They didn't come from a long line of cigar makers. And they were established in 1998. And they're very popular worldwide. Unlike anything I've ever smoked. I'm glad I paid almost $14 for it. Well, it's uh, it's my birthday present to myself. Gosh. It's got some, some flavors in it that is very, very balanced flavor. I'm happy with my purchase. <sighs> yeah. Well, Now the French inhalability of the cigar is about um, <coughs> it's near its apex. In other words, it's almost too strong to inhale 
but it's got this, some just awesome flavors to it. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's very good. Very good indeed. Well, <coughs> tomorrow morning, I'll be bringing up part of my pipe shop up here upstairs, and I'll be fashioning pipes. I'm thinking, um, fucking there, I don't know, that equipment weighs a lot. Yeah, let's just get to making pipes. No more bullshit, no more excuses, no more tweaking my back out. All the heavy stuff is upstairs, thank God, really. <sighs> That's an interesting smoking experience right there. Now, I've seen uh, boxes of acid cigars, and they're right up there, kind of spendy, you know, 150 bucks a box for 20. If I had my choice of, if, of just, you know, cigars, I'd say uh, I'd have an acid cigar once a week, because it's that different. Um, it's just, it's, uh, God, they're so expensive up here. Well, my battery light's flashing at me, and time for me to go. Well, thank you very much for watching. Y'all have a nice rest of your day, and peace and sweet smokes to you. Still there? Lurker. Oh, you guys, you guys are too much.